I don't know, I'm gonna speak for myself. I remember the whole Jeremiah situation. Mm, she ended you're going there. Jeremiah, right? You're going there. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. It's hot as heck. The sun is currently beaming down on me, okay? The sponsor for this video is going to be, of course, the coldest water, man. Make sure that you get 10% off of your order today. Link is in the description down below. All you have to use is the code HOT, H-O-T, the block is hot. You will see all the information in the description down below. I am currently sweating, okay? I am melting. It is hot as hell out here in these Dallas streets. But like I said, man, I wanted to shout out to my sponsor, The Coldest Water. Make sure that y'all go check them out at thecoldest.com. Let's get into the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to so be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their angel mama, tell their uncle Joey Stillaho. I want to shout out to my girl, Miss Tamika Henry, for giving me the timestamp. Okay, 12 minutes of this video was him just vlogging, chilling, stuff like that. She told me to start it around the 12 minute mark. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get into it, man. He has something to say and we're here to listen. Let's get into it, guys. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all why I started like this and then went to the end. Because I, I feel like I don't wanna give y'all the story, right? And then y'all see the beginning, y'all see some in the middle, and then it was just a cut off to the story. It never had an end to it. All right. So I don't know if this is. I'm pretty sure this is the ending. Damn. Of, of me and Leslie. That's um, tough. That's tough. Collabs or whatever the case may be. I don't know because I haven't talked to Leslie. Yeah. Um, I haven't really sat down and talked to her since we left Puerto Rico or since I left Florida. Okay. I haven't talked to her because of a couple reasons that I'm explaining to you guys. <clears throat> this video is not to bash Leslie because I think Leslie is a phenomenal woman and I will always speak highly of Leslie no matter what, no matter if you're on bad terms. I will just always speak highly of Leslie because I feel like when you get out of a relationship, right, you only say negative things about that person. I'm talking about in general. He saying. is so right. He's so fucking right. And if you had good times with that person, if all you have is negative shit to say, like, I'm gonna start questioning your role in it too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna question your role because there had to be something positive you could say about the experience with that person, you know? But anyway. Something about me and Leslie's situation. But let's just say if you had a relationship and you had a boyfriend, right? You did you dirty or you did dirty, whatever the case may be. Every comment that's made about him to somebody else from you is going to be negative. And I don't like that because I feel like y'all did have good times. He Back. did show you this. Back, he Back. showed you this. He showed you that. Back. So I'm not the type of person that get out of a relationship or not even a relationship. Start bashing him. Because he was never in a relationship or a friendship. Um, and, and speak bad about it because I know that's right. not true and I want to be true to myself if I spoke anything bad about Leslie. Right, right, right. So I'm going to start from the beginning. All right. So I remember, I think I had Leslie up a long, long time ago about videos, right? Clive, mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, we can make money off of this. Yeah. My intention was to go in, let's make money. I wasn't going to like this girl. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to like her. I'm not going to fall for her, you know. I, was, I even said that it was weird to even be talking to you know, exes and, you know, but it doesn't mean, that doesn't matter, you yeah, know. Yeah, right, right. Um, I was only going based off what other people were saying, but that doesn't matter. True love is, when you fall in love with somebody, it's, it's, it doesn't matter who it is, you know. Um, That's true. That's true. Like doesn't brothers, matter. So be nasty. But, um. Right, brothers, cousins. Yeah, sisters. so, she, 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 we talked a couple times, we never did. Boom, well, and then she ended up hitting me up. All right. Like, hey, you able to leave uh, Houston? Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, yeah, I got to check in with my PO, whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. So, okay, I was like, you know, we like, you know, you ready to do collabs, stuff like that. And then, boom, we ended up doing collabs. Everybody loves us, right? Yeah. Um, I think the point, the part where, where um, I don't even know if it's the part where we were wrong at. I know for me, I'm gonna just fast forward a little bit. So we started doing videos, everything doing about good, right? Remind you, I said I'm not gonna like this girl, you know? Mm -hmm. I came in with the intentions, let's just make money, let's have a good time, let's have fun, mm -hmm. and let's get to know each other on a friendship level. I've said this time and time and time again. I believe both of them, when they said they were not trying to fall for each other, they were not trying to like each other, that shit just happens, and that's why I still say that the vibe was genuine from the beginning. Okay, like I said, it's hard to fake that, it's hard to force that. 
and shit happens sometimes and like i said man leslie was not over her ex she's not over her ex she's with her ex right now okay and that was one of the main reasons they both spoke on you know what i'm saying like okay she's going th she, uh, going through healing with you know she just got a relationship with her ex and blah 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 all right and we all know and we all have most of us have went back to an ex okay most of us who um have been in a relationship have been in something that maybe was toxic so let's not judge leslie once again for going back to somebody who may have did her dirty okay nine times out of ten you've been done dirty as well and you still went back to them and if you didn't congratulations you know you're one of the few who hasn't done that but we all have done that or seen somebody experience that had a friend who we told they asked not to go back to that person because they was toxic and they did you dirty and all of that next week what happens they get back with that person anyway guys but me, myself, my vulnerable self, I started to catch these feelings for Leslie, right? Mm -hmm. And I think it was because of how, you know, she's, she's an awesome person. You know, she's a person that you will be uh, uh, attracted to mm -hmm. because, you know, she can bite in other rooms. She can, you know, she can do that. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, <laughs> when I started, so remind you, I never spent this much time with a female in a very long time. Um, because I've, like I said, I've only been at three relationships ever. So I didn't want to be in a relationship until Leslie came about. Because I and that does happen, man. I didn't want to be in a relationship until my girlfriend came about, y'all. I had no intentions. I thought I was going to be a bachelor for life, okay? I had no intentions at all of like falling for nobody. When it's genuine, it just happens that way, you know? Sometimes shit happens. I spent a lot of time with her, you know, I was spending all this time with her, and y'all know through, through time, you know, these, these, feelings, these feelings develop, and I was developing these feelings for Leslie, and, you know, it was almost as if it was like, um, you know, like, I don't want to be corny, but like the butterflies and stuff, and, you know, you see somebody, you know, y'all can go away and then you want to see him really bad. That's how it was. And I haven't felt like that way with a female in a very long time because I never even put myself in those predicaments to even fall for somebody. Be able to fall in love with a female, you know. Um, so anyways, I started to be like, Leslie, I really don't know. I, I'm pretty sure she kind of, she had feelings for me, but I don't know if it was... I, I don't know, you know, I'm pretty sure she had feelings for me. I, I mess with Leslie. Leslie messed with me, you know. And and um and I don't know, it was just it was just a lot there. So anyways You you could tell you wanna be careful not to bash her, careful not to say that oh I don't know if her intentions was really or if she really liked me for me or whatever the case was or what she could get from me. I feel like he wanted to say that, but he didn't want to say it and have people bash her more than she's getting bashed right now. I'm talking about her follower count is going like down, 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 down on the decline, you know? And fair enough, you know, a lot of people support Chris. I support Chris, like I said, um, and they are gonna defend him by any means and they feel like, you know, Leslie hurt Chris, they're going to take it out on Leslie for sure. But like I said, man, just because it didn't work out doesn't mean that you gotta bash or put Leslie down to lift Chris up and support Chris and to tell him that everything is gonna be okay, you know? But anyway. Let's fast forward a little bit more. I think the, we, the, the relationship started to be toxic. The relationship we had, like our friendship started to be toxic because it was, oh, um, I don't know, I'm gonna speak for myself. I remember the whole Jeremiah situation. Mm, she ended you up going there. Jeremiah, right? You going there. We hanging out with Jeremiah for a couple minutes or whatever the case may be. Okay. And okay. I got in my feelings. And I feel like I only did that because I was falling for this girl. And, um, and you know, it just, you know, and I know, you know, that was somebody she used to talk to. But at the end of the day, I had to realize it doesn't matter who she is hanging out with because I had to respect her as an individual, you know, woman to, to realize that she can hang out with whoever she wants to hang out because we never Made it came to any common ground about who we can hang out with. You know what I'm saying? Of course, people are going to get jealous, and that's just in our human nature. Um, if you're like that, you know, got a crush on somebody, you're spending this much time with somebody, of course, it's bound, you know, you're bound to get jealous. That means you like that person. If I didn't get jealous, I probably, I just, I just don't care. If I don't get jealous, I just don't care, to be honest. 
But um, yeah, I, I felt you know some type of way, um, and it went from me being toxic because I didn't want her to follow certain dudes that she followed when she was at the studio. You get what I'm saying? Because I know guys' intentions is. Not. And that's the thing, when you start trying to control who people can follow and this and that and the other, it's already toxic. It's already toxic. And for two, y'all ain't in a relationship. But if y'all were exclusive, or, yeah, you couldn't have been exclusive because if that's the case, then y'all she wouldn't have been hanging with Jeremiah, her ex and stuff like that, right? So I really feel like they told us that they had an understanding and I believe they came out and said that to protect Leslie. Chris was trying to protect Leslie and he still cared for Leslie, still wanted to talk to her, you know? And so they came out and said that they had an agreement, they had an understanding when we know goddamn well now that I'm watching this, they didn't have no fucking understanding, okay? And that was the issue. They didn't have, a, if they had an understanding, he couldn't have been mad. And if he was mad, he would have had to take that upon himself to be upset, okay? And he wouldn't have been trying to control the situation saying you can't come to this session or you can't work with this person or you can't follow this person. To me, if you got to set those type of rules, man, you might just not want to be with that person or that person might not, you know, you're not ready for a relationship with that person, okay? Um, that's just how I feel. I don't want to be in something where I have a whole bunch of rules and regulations. And Chris has said the same thing. He said he don't want to be a caged animal either, yet he's over here trying to cage an animal. But I feel him because he really liked Leslie, like I said, you know? But that could be a turn off for some women too, especially if they're not really sure about a relationship with you and you try to confine them and give them all, whole, a whole bunch of rules and regulations they're gonna you know flag on the plate they're gonna blow the whistle on your ass you know and they're gonna be thinking about okay maybe i need to like fall back or maybe i need to continue doing me because i'm not ready to be confined into whatever the fuck's going on here but anyway guys I'm following you communication so, is key oh let's just be friends they follow you because they trying to crack and going about their business <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a nigga so i know you hear what i'm saying so I'm like, oh, follow them dudes. So I think that's where it started, you know. Well, it was something that happened before that where somebody thought that I was in the studio with Leslie. I mean, a girl said I invited her to the studio with Leslie's on her. And then Leslie was like, you know, did you invite this girl to the studio? And I was like, no, I didn't. You know, I even called the girl like, yo, you said I invited you to the studio. She was like, no. So I'm like, you, you know, you see that? So that's where it started to feel like, okay, so if you ask me about girls, then I'm gonna ask you about dudes. You know what I'm saying? But it was nothing like, it wasn't like nothing big. It was just stuff about girls and guys. Like, oh, you talk to you talk to the dude. You know, that's where that's where we went wrong at in our friendship because that's when it starts to be toxic and confused, especially if you don't have no common ground and y'all don't come to no agreement. Like, you got to. You got we to. not gonna talk to other dudes. Mm -hmm. We not. Are, it's you know we gonna focus on each other. We gonna be sleeping with each other. Whatever it is may be, we just gonna focus on ourselves. And we're gonna make this bag and see where you know life takes us. But it wasn't that, it was just a lot of confusion because like I said, we never came to like no agreement or nothing. So it was just open, like it's like we like I know she didn't want me talking to other girls a little, I forgot a little bit of her. Like didn't want me to talk to other girls, but she just never openly said, like, no, you can't talk to other girls. I didn't really want her talking to other dudes, but Cause I, she, cause I think she kind of knew that she wasn't ready to like pursue a real relationship right now type of thing. She's still blowing in the wind. She's still blowing in the breeze, still healing from a breakup with her ex. And maybe even still thinking about possibly getting back with her ex, linking back with her ex. And now we're here, right? I just didn't openly say it like, no, you can't talk to other dudes. So, it, you know, it was still jealousy. So when I got my Instagram back, it was, uh, when I got my IG back, it was a problem with that when I started following females and she felt like, oh, since you're following females, I can go follow people back. I it's just petty, back, back and forth. I follow back in when I was out of Cali. And that's what so the tip for tat is never going to work out. If you have a relationship to where both of y'all are going tip for tat, it's never going to work out anyway. You know, and that's exactly what it seemed like they were building on tip for tat. You know, really very petty and stuff like that. And neither one of them was able to really trust the other person. You ain't got trust. You ain't got shit. Issue with that, and I'm like, okay, you know, I thought like it was disrespectful, and it was just so much of a whole bunch of petty stuff. I said all that to say, that's why, you know, it was just a whole bunch of petty stuff. So that's why I ended up leaving before I came back. And after that, me and Leslie really haven't been talking like that. You know, we just haven't been talking. I think I texted her, like, I miss you. Hope you're doing well. She texted me back. You know, and it was cool. And then I remember we only spoke like twice. She hit me up. But I knew 
it had to be somebody else involved because we went to talking every day to not talking at all, mm -hmm. you know, pretty much. So I and you know your patterns with talking with people or talking to a person, you know, you know, you get that feeling like, oh man, she usually hit me up so and so time, or she usually, you know, we don't go a day without talking, and we don't go two days without talking. Whatever your pattern is, if that pattern is broken, you know it's somebody else. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, it must be somebody else involved. When I went Instagram live and said, you know, Leslie with her ex, I didn't really know she was with, you know, dude. I really didn't know. I was going based off of what somebody told me, and I was really being petty. And mm -hmm. come to find out, she really was. But even that, I feel like that's okay for her to talk to who she's going to talk to. It's not our job to reconstruct people's lives. You get what I'm saying? It's it's her job and it's my job to make myself happy. It's her job to make herself happy. So I feel like at the end of the day, if she want to talk, if she wanted to, she could talk to whoever she wanted to talk to. Me and Leslie was never in a relationship, even though I got jealous. Am I hurt off the situation? I am a little bit. And I'm not going to say anything like I'm just all peach in the cream and, you know, I'm cool. You know, yeah, that hurt me to see, you know, like I've, you know, spent a time with somebody. But that's what happens when you, you know, spend time and, you know, you start having a crush on this person, you know, and they just got through a breakup with an ex, you know, because I feel like that's, that's being, I, you know, not necessarily rebound. Okay, so let me, let me go back to that because I think a lot of people think Leslie was using me. That's not the case. Let's well, you said it too, though. You kind of said it without saying it, and I feel like he said that on the live because he was frustrated. He was upset. Like you said, he was being petty. And, like, that was the beginning of everybody bashing the fuck out of Leslie. Let's be honest. If Chris never went live, people would still be speculating, you know. But the fact that Chris went live and, you know, said that Leslie was with her ex, and it said that he tired of being used, he feels like he's always getting used, but it's all good and stuff like that. Of course, people are gonna bash the fuck out of Leslie. That's where that whole decline came from, you know? But I also wanna give Chris his kudos for like actually being real and letting people know like it really did hurt me. You know, it really did hurt me. It's hard for, you know, people to put their pride to the side and actually be real about how they feel. Leslie is a genuine sweetheart. She's very sweetheart and like, like she's really beautiful at the heart, you know, and that's what attracts me a lot about her. Um, I don't, her intentions wasn't to give, I don't think to give back at nobody. You know, I, I feel like it was genuine and we was just here, okay, let's just make money. Mm -hmm. But it was the fans that started really liking us together and trying to put us in a relationship. You know, and that shit gets to your head, like, damn, like, should we be in a relationship? You know what I'm saying? That shit really gets to your head. And, I mean, I also feel like, <laughs> like I said, bro, like, I'm gonna just go back, but like, it was really like, so, so to, to, to explain to everybody, just so everybody won't be in the dark, there was just a lot of toxic stuff going on when it came to other, the sex of the opposite, I mean, opposite sex when it came to us. That's where we went wrong, guys. We should have just kept it as friends. We should have just kept on content. Business, business. Boom, nobody would have caught these feelings. We would have still, you know, boom. But that's easier said than done. You got two attractive people who are attracted to each other. We're making money. We're having a good time. You know, like, easier said than done, you know? To, to, you know, at this point, I don't know if we still friends. I don't know if, you know, she'll talk to me um, again. I don't know, to be honest. I haven't talked to her because I know she's with, you know, so I don't know if she's going to we try to talk to me or try to, you know, we have a conversation about the whole thing. Um, I didn't mean to, if, you know, if I bash her, I mean, I didn't bash her, but if I said, I, I messed up because I said she was with Jose. I shouldn't have said that. You know, I shouldn't have said that. Even though fans was putting that, you know, was was already saying it, I shouldn't have said that to my mom off. That's why I went wrong that. So I apologize for that. Um, but, like I said, you know, it's just, I mean, it's what it is. Leslie didn't do nothing wrong. I don't, she didn't do nothing wrong by going talking to him. It's not, she's not in a relationship. Like, I have to understand that she's a single woman, bro. She can talk to whoever she want to talk keep to. Keep saying that, yo. You know what I'm saying? I, I keep can talk saying. to whoever I want to talk to. I'm not talking to nobody right now. I haven't been in a relationship in a long time. I do want a relationship. I do, I really do. Um, and I thought we was going to be in a relationship, but, I mean, I mean, it's like you just live and you learn and you learn from it. You know, you just keep it pushing. You know, I gotta keep it peak. You know, I gotta just keep it peak. You feel me? I just gotta keep that motherfucker peak. You know, so, uh, anyways.
that's really it. The whole, you know, the whole her and her, uh, the dude, the dude thing. Uh, like, don't bash her. Bro. I don't want anybody to bash her. That's not what we're here for. We're not going to bash her. Um, that she's still a friend to me. I hope she's feel the same way. She's still a friend, so I don't want y'all to bash her because I know how that feels. I get what I'm saying. I don't want y'all to bash her. At least go encourage her, send her some positive things. You feel me? Um, I love y'all. I'm done with this conversation. Um, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I feel like a lot of people were waiting for something like this to happen, especially Chris haters, you know? Um, you don't have to be a Chris hater to be a Clarence and Queen lover. If you like Clarence and Queen, you can like um, Clarence and Queen without hating on Chris. And if you like Chris and Leslie, you can like Chris and Leslie without hating Clarence and Queen. That's how I've always felt, you know? I feel like I talked a lot throughout this video. Let me know your true opinion on the situation. Like I said, man, I'm, I was never gonna come out and bash Leslie. That's just not what I was gonna do. Like I said, I continuously said that Leslie is a single woman. She's able to do it. If she wanna fuck five niggas in one night, she could do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Call her a city girl, call her whatever. I'm pretty sure you got a whole ass friend, you know what I'm saying, who done had her shit ran through from here to China. All right, or maybe you are that friend. So guys, let's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you ain't gotta bash the girl. Um, I wish them both the best, much success, love, abundance, prosperity, all the great things that they can have in this life. And most importantly, peace within, peace. Okay, peace and happiness within the, within their soul and within them. But anyway, guys, I love y'all so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell to so be notified when I upload on my channel. DM me lit videos to react to. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell the angel mama, tell your uncle Joey Stiller Hall. We'll see you guys in the next mother freaking bitty yo wanna love y'all man peace we out baby